What's going on in the big old world today, people? I'm going to bring you the latest and greatest, like I always do. And welcome to the Jamie Hicks Show. And today on the Chopping Block, we got none other than the June 10th city meeting, public comments, and what will be addressed is our street sweeper. Street sweeper, where can you be? Where can you be, oh street sweeper? Uh, we have also air monitor issues. Uh, air monitor is not reporting, uh, being turned off in the middle of the night. Uh, fishy things going on. Problems with pets and tests. And we also have a local journalist, uh, Angel Farmer, does her redress to Mayor Grove's personal attack from the last meeting. You got to tune in for this. So... Let's get into it. Happy Pride, everyone. Um, wanted to ask why the agenda wasn't posted. Friday didn't come out until this morning. Um, the air monitor. I know you said that uh, the box is now locked, um, the electrical box, but um, who has access to the Wi Fi for the air monitor? No? Anybody know? Um, it is insane how often the monitor out at Rotary Park keeps going down, um, especially after the last, last month's accident at Harris Chemical. Um, I don't think it's right that the taxpayers have to pay for another street sweeper when whomever decided it was a great idea to clean Harris's potassium permanganate spill last year on 7th Street, I hope they now realize that that was an idiotic move, seeing that it's an oxidizer. Karis called to have the city come and clean it up, so Karis should be the one to replace the street sweeper. And if Karis calls again to clean up their mess, is the city going to do it again? How many street sweepers are taxpayers going to pay for? I noticed on the Maytag building, there's no permit posted on their building, and I thought you had to have that in the city, a permit anytime you're doing any kind of work on your building. Um, I am very concerned that Andy Vassador made false statements back on March 18th here in this room about the state of the old Maytag building, only to view photos two months later that contradicted how far along CLE really was with the project. How can he be trusted to do his job and to be honest when he's lied in this very room? And Mr. Vitek, I am very disappointed in you not correcting Andy Vassador when he lied about the state of Maytag building. Finally, um, Eric Dyes brought up about 801. Eric, uh, Andy has a little update for you on that. Andy here? Yeah. Yeah. Andy walked through with Alderman Tack last week, 801, first street, to kind of find out what's going on there. Yeah, I got a hold of uh, the project manager for that particular uh, place, probably the third or fourth time they've been in there in the last two or three months. But I just wanted to follow up. All the roughing is done in the upstairs. That's plumbing, electrical, uh, HVAC. It's framed up. Um, the downstairs, all the plumbing is done on the downstairs, other than the concrete floor. He did start off the uh, project by showing, or the tour by showing us all the improvements that were done for the structural integrity of the building. So um, that looks to be finished, as far as I see. New roof was put on. So there has been a lot of work. He did tell me, he just says, they, I do what they tell me. If they say switch to working on the outside now, which he did say was going to happen, he's going to switch to working on the outside. So I have talked to contractors who are lined up to do other things there. Uh, so I think it's moving along. As far as what the contract between the city and them calls for, I don't know those exact dates. That's something you guys would probably know. But uh, I did ask the contractor if drywalling, and the finishing touches on the upstairs could be done by April 30th, and he felt there was no problem. I don't know what other type of delays might be in there, but they're much further along uh, than the last Just district. to remind our agreement is April 30th, and it's for the upstairs to basically be ready to rent it out for a little bit of space. The downstairs, obviously, we're not expecting to build it out because we don't know, you know, it depends on who's using it, right? Who wants it, you know, as far as build out. So, um, 
I just want to make sure I that was brought up by you and I just want you to send it to your support. Sometimes we're not seeing it because it's in the inside. So I'll get the same question as well. My name is Jeff Rowe. I'm the mayor of the city of LaSalle. I want to make a statement. This is my position. It does not necessarily represent that of the city council members. Some aldermen may share my position, maybe all. That is for them to tell. Last Thursday, May 9th, marked the last day of the agreement between the city of LaSalle and the CL Group in regards to 801 805 First Street. The agreement was entered into on January 9th, 2023. Obviously, I'm disappointed that this project is not completed. In late 2022, the city hired outside counsel to direct us on how to handle the lack of progress by CL on a building in the center of LaSalle's business district. First step was to come up with an agreement with CL to give the developer an opportunity to complete the project. In good faith, the city entered into this agreement. I was cautiously optimistic. The city offered financial incentives to go into effect after completion. The main point of that is everyone needs to realize it was after the completion of the project. And again, it would be paid back through taxes from the real estate. And this is all part of the agreement. I was disappointed that no representative from CL reached out to the city to give a courtesy heads up that the project at 801 805 First Street would not be completed by 5924, but they took the time to answer an inquiry from the newspaper. It is convenient that initially I am being told that Cares Chemical and CL are separate entities. Now an excuse the newspaper stated that the delay is because of the Cares fire. I find it interesting oh that Cares Chemical is already rebuilding their assets, lost in the fire, but cannot finish 801 805 First Street. We have developers in the city that have finished products, projects and are currently doing projects that started before and after we had the agreement 16 months ago with CL. Thank you, Mike Bird, Luke Wyden, and David Cooley, to say a couple of them, for doing it the right way. Karis Chemical is already rebuilding their assets lost in the fire, but cannot finish 801 805 First Street. Now that the agreement is over, it's time to move to the next option, in my opinion. You will see from pictures from our city building inspector and city engineer who went through on Friday, I believe, um, that this building is far, far from being finished. I do not blame Mr. Fox, we met last week. I do not re blame Raphael, who's been kind of this on-site manager. The responsibility falls on the shoulders of Peter Lindberger, and we get my opinion. He's the one who's responsible for financing the project. I believe the city should move forward in the courts to get control of the building and find the developer to fix it. No more extensions, no more excuses, I, along with many constituents and visitors, get sit to my stomach every time I drive by 801, 805 First Street. Thank you. Again, this is just my opinion. It's going to be up to the council to decide what they want to do, but I think enough's enough. And you know what I look at is we learn how to do this with 801, 805, and then we have a footprint of how to address the cast Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's not just Mr. Lindberger in the meeting that we had before this contract was signed. It was Inga Karras that I had to sit and listen to. So let's not misunderstand that they could have fixed this anytime they wanted. They have the money to repair their factories. We had to fight for the insurance money, for our fire department losses. We had to wait on that stuff. It's not the way you do business. It's, it's time for us to act. So I agree. Finally, there have been several parents that I have spoken to about the need for shade at Rotary Park. Keep in mind there are children of all ages and most families have more than one child. If the city can afford a snow machine, they should be able to afford shade for families sitting on the benches.
to, so my yard was dug up by um, the EPA and fixed uh, about three years ago. We had dug a um, four foot footing to build a garage several years prior to that per apparently requirements for the city. When we dug up that footing, we had two dogs that got sick. <coughs> And we wondered, of course, if it had anything to do with the soil. One dog died, and the other one was so sick, she was only five years old at the time. She died two years later as her d disease progressively got worse. So we were dug up three years ago, the soil was replaced, and then we had the fire. I have now two dogs that have just turned five years old, both diagnosed with diabetes. They have to be insulin dependent. There's no other treatment for it. I myself was diagnosed with diabetes last year. Um, had no reason why, no explanation, no history, no genetics, nothing. I um, have a cat who has a thyroid disorder that she now has to get medication. And we have a dog who had two goats removed have a neighbor who had several goats removed from their dog. I am having a hard time thinking that all of these experiences and things that are happening are not related to our soil. I would like to, I don't know if I need permission to do this, but I want to go around to our neighbors, kind of do like a <coughs> research project, ask, do you have dogs? yard been cleaned up um, you know if not who was close to you did you have cats do any of them have diseases that type of thing I don't know if I need permission to go or if it's okay if I just go door to door I am only really thinking of doing like a four block area um, I just I, I'm, I'm really having a hard time if you look up online and you does exposure to heavy metals cause your, your animals to age prematurely? Yes, yes it does. When our dogs were three years old, their faces were turning white. Um, some have a hard time walking. It, 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 it's, it's just not, it can't be coincidence. Um, I am going to reach out to um, EPA, of course, in regards to this and some other people to see, but you know, with the history of who answers and who doesn't answer, and they all say there's nothing going on. I, I don't know how far I'll get from any of those agencies, but I am going to reach out just so that it's on record. Um, I wanted to ask too, um, is Summer Health going to take a curve? No. We don't have any yellow curbing, like no parking areas. Is that something that or is that, is that not a thing anymore? Um, all right.
so I don't really know how the public's opinion is going to be expressed if we're not aware of the information prior to the actual day of the meeting. Oh, and third thing, um, the handicap door, the last two meetings the door has not been on for the handicaps. Uh, I know Angel has brought that up previously, but if that is something that we can be more observant of for the disabled people who are wanting to come to the meeting. Thanks. After having me surrounded by men for no lawful reason, John Duncan told me that if I didn't want to be surrounded, I could go outside, and that they could surround me all they want in the people's building, knowing I was both cornered and intimidated. That's incorrect. It's not only a crime, John. It opens the floor for, to civil litigation, and you know that. John Duncan also told me that I could come here and say nothing. Due to his threat of continued mistreatment, tonight I can only comment as a parent and as a woman. You all heard Mayor Grove go on his rant about seeing a parent at Walmart. That parent is standing at this podium. If you recall, a speech given here last time heavily touched on the topic of sexual harassment and similar issues. Mayor Grove decided late in the meeting to shame this parent for deciding to simply say, hi, how are you, instead of debating sexual topics in front of children. This came after the mayor rejected numerous calls and attempts to have a meeting about these deep-rooted issues, yet he got up here acting as if there is a red flag when a mother protects her children by not speaking of sexual topics in front of them with a random guy at Walmart. It can't be denied, you all sat here and heard it. Apparently a simple greeting is not enough for Grove. Yet again he went on the attack against women. Just imagine if this person at the podium did confront those issues at Walmart. He'd pull a Mr. Dunkey and try to obtain a frivolous order of protection. <laughs> Luckily, this person respected not only her own kids, but the mayor's child. This parent and Mayor Grove exchanged some colorful words immediately following the last meeting. The next day, this parent showed up at City Hall to file some FOIAs, set up this meeting he wanted to have in front of kids at Walmart, and to redress. Several minutes into this trip to City Hall, John Duncan said nothing before going to get the police chief. This so-called chief approached this woman and swiftly started to close the doors, claiming the parent's presence is bothersome to the employees while she awaited the requested forms. John Duncan admitted he retrieved the chief due to expressive speech, specifically a few curse words over several minutes when discussing this Walmart issue. This chief, the same one this mother used to have a small amount of respect for, told this parent that she needed to leave right now. The mother stood her ground and remained, requesting her FOIA forms. After being berated by both Mr. Duncan and Mike Smizinski, they both did the walk of shame before the mother went into Brent Bader's office to avoid further harassment. Due to their behavior, Brent had to listen to 10 or more minutes of frustration and fear from this woman as she filled out her forms and he did so gracefully. Chief, you had no reason to create and escalate a situation here in City Hall. You accused this woman of violent verbalizations, yet you couldn't give one example. You are all encouraged to view this incident and judge the issues for yourself. If you don't, you're failing the people you represent. It's interesting that the chief approached this woman the way he did as part of the redress that day was the concerns of his numerous comments about the bodies of persons working under him. Shoot, this woman simply noticed concerning behavior and brought it up with the other issues. No wonder the chief wanted her out. This chief can't claim the woman wasn't fair and kind towards him all along. It was frightening to see him become so unhinged just feet away from her. An apology was requested after this incident, yet the chief did not apologize. We all have times when we're in the wrong, but failure to admit it is also failure to grow. 
I stand before you on behalf of this parent, this woman, and many others like her requesting further civil rights education, sexual harassment, and de-escalation training for all city employees. Failure to do so will indeed result in more abuse of the people at the hands of those everyone is supposed to trust. How much time do I have? We have four minutes and eight seconds. During Mayor Grill's Walmart rant, he shamed a woman for not only protecting her young, but for being herself. Some of us, when we are not in work mode, are more reserved, more to ourselves, and there is nothing wrong with that. People have it hard enough without being shamed for being who they are, particularly when they have done nothing but push for safe parks, the respect of women, requesting sanitary bins, and equal treatment for all. As you may see, those things get you surrounded, belittled, mocked, backed into a corner, accused of crimes, all without even an incident report. Each of you involved should be ashamed of yourselves, and I am requesting apologies from Chief Mike Smudzinski, Finance Director John Duncan, and Mayor Grove. For the remainder of my time, out of fear of further retaliation, I must hold a moment of silence. That moment of silence is dedicated to Mayor Jeff Grove's political career. Your five minutes are up. Thanks, John. Thank you so much. Strike one when I stood up for myself and my kids. And you can ask the council for that as well at the meeting, and if they want to provide that. I might. Down. We're talking. I understand it, but I can hear the echo. Did you go get him? Did yeah. you tell on me? I, I went and got him because you're cussing and people are on the I'm allowed phone. to cuss. People are on the phone. I'm allowed to cuss. Sure. Nobody told me. Nobody you're not told me. To interrupt their work. They gotta work. They're I was talking. Money. I was talking. You're trying to surround me. You're trying to intimidate me. Mike, get away from me. Then back up. Then back up and talk. Then back up and talk. No, there's too many men here. Too bad. No. Stop approaching me. So you're going to have to leave right now. For what? For what? You're going to have to leave. So if you give me my FOIA request, yes. for Mike. What's your FOIA request? Now, why am I having to leave? Because you're bothering her. You're bothering no, her. I was talking to her. She was just she fine with it. She was getting me my she stuff. Work to do. You need okay. to stop corner. No, no. What do you need? I'm asking you one Two time. FOIA request forms. Where are they? I can burn them. Okay. Thanks. Burn stop cornering me. You know I have nowhere to go right here, Mike. Look. Use some decent language for once, would you? What yeah, did I say? Decent, I said, Mike, decent, look. I said, Mike, language. look. Did These I people not? don't get paid enough to be talked to like I'm that. I'm sorry you guys don't pay them enough. Okay. Maybe if you quit wasting the taxpayer dollars, you could give her a raise. She probably deserves it. Yeah, she, they all do after listening to this crap. What crap? Did you hear Talking what he like said? This. Did you hear what he said? I, you know what? I acted no different than I act any time you see me at the freaking gym. I go to the YMCA. Yeah, you know what you told me? I exercise. Do you know what you told me? You told me not to bring it up at the Y. You told me not to bring You told me not to bring it up at the Y. No, you're not going to try and turn this into a crime. You can't just talk like Have you heard of the 14th Amendment? Yes, I can. Okay. Yes, if you listen to my speech, you would know. Just get tired of it. Get tired of it, Mike. I am a better person than that. Look what he did. Look what he did. Talk. Don't even speak to me. I'm waiting for my forms. It ain't going to go nowhere, Mike. You already know I'm not, that. I'm not worried about that. You know it echoes in here. Listen to it. Listen to it, Mike. Did you want to fill them out for me or did you want to give me a pen? I can give you a pen if you'd like to fill them out. I'd appreciate that, but I don't I prefer to not be surrounded. No, that's fine if you're gonna go outside. I was talking. No, I don't have to go outside. She's, you don't, I don't no I do not outside. have to go outside. You don't have to, but no one will surround you outside. And Nobody should surround me in here because I'm telling you it intimidates me. Do not bother can you give me? And do not bother she spoke him. to me. Okay. Watch my video. Okay, that's fine. You can fill. You know what? You're trying to intimidate me. You're trying to intimidate me out of turning him in. I've been nothing but fair to you, Mike, since the what? The first week I started. I've been fair to you. I've been decent to you. Have you? Pay your respect. Have you? No, but when it's been fair to me, if you want to put that out there. Why? Not at all. Well, tell me. Not at tell all. Me. What have I done? Don't I have time for it. Please tell me. Let's okay. Keep, what up? Have you been fair at all? Okay, Mike. Er, been what's your name? John. Huh? Do I not always say thank you when I ask if you're ready? No, no. Angel. What? Fred said you can come on here and fill out your foyer. You better just leave the door open here. Okay. Just don't. Keep how have I not been fair to you? You don't have. No, I don't. I have to explain no, I don't. And it's not I quoted what happened in the meeting. I didn't say nothing, actually. I thought, you quoted a lot of things that you weren't there you to know see what, your witness. No, no, no. I quoted what I heard. I quoted what was stated yesterday. Did I not? Did I not? You've been very disrespectful to Mr. Duncan, so let's just leave that there. Oh, uh, well, next time I won't say thank you, I guess. You can say nothing. All right. No, I like to say thank you. I like to be nice to you, John. Let's go, Kurt. Bye, Mike. Bye-bye.